Harambe's back! And he's better than motherfucking ever. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. King Kong Skull Island. Okay, so this is the first kind of big major tentpole action movie of the summertime. Logan, I mean, yes, that was, but this one has a bigger budget than Logan does. This movie is crazy. The action is crazy. It's 10 times funnier than you think it's gonna be. If you want sword fights, this movie has it. If you want gun fights, This movie has it. This is basically Pacific Rim meets Dora the Explorer. Wiper nose wiping. That sounds like a crazy comparison, but I'm telling you, you need to go out and watch this movie. The movie starts off like kind of on Avengers assembling a team, and I know that's kind of cliche, but the way they do it, it's a little bit inventive, it's a little bit creative, it gets you into the movie. The movie isn't it doesn't let you sit down in your seat. Once you sit down, be ready to see King Kong. Be ready to see monkeys fighting. Be ready to see an action extravaganza. This takes no, it doesn't, it doesn't give you time to get ready. This is gonna be a spoiler free review. So I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'm not gonna talk about specifics. Comment down below if you want me to do a spoiler video and I'll do that next. But for now, this is for the people who just are deciding whether or not they wanna watch this movie. Now, the cast is fantastic. John Goodman is just John Goodman being good old John Goodman. We have Tom Hiddleston, AKA my boy Loki, just killing it. We have Brie Larson. That's all I have to say, Brie Larson. Star studded cast, oh. Did I forget Samuel Jackson? Oh, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? We have Samuel Jackson. He's finally not just a supporting role. You get like the Samuel Jackson that you know and you love, giving his little soliloquies, talking straight into the camera. Uh, it's just straight poetry. There are some knocks on the movie. I did say earlier that it's very funny, but I feel like sometimes they try and be too funny, and probably 30% of the jokes don't really hit. Another knock that I have on the movie is Brie Larson. Not her as an actress, she's fantastic, but I feel like she was underutilized, and I'm not saying they should have casted someone else, but they could have got away with casting someone else, but I guess they used her as a draw for movie goers because part of the reason why I went is because she was in this movie. This movie, it's shot beautifully. There are so many action set pieces that I've never seen before that are creative, that are inventive. If you're wondering if this is like most King Kong movies where they wait and they wait and they wait and the build up to Kong uh, is often anticlimactic, this is not one of those movies. This is not one of those movies. If you wanna see Harambe fighting, Harambe's gonna fight in this movie. I don't even care if his name is Kong. His name is Harambe today. If you're wondering, am I only gonna see King Kong fight? I'm not paying $13 to see just a monkey fight. You're not gonna see just a monkey fight. There are so many creatures in this movie. I mean, again, I don't wanna spoil it, so I'm not gonna say anything specifically. You're not just gonna see monkeys fight. You're not gonna see just monkeys fight creatures. You're not just gonna see humans fight monkeys. You're gonna see uh, every combination, every permutation, you're gonna see that. Don't forget that I was a little harsh on the movie, so it's not all good stuff. This movie is not perfect. Personally, when I go to the movies, I wanna see an action movie do what it's supposed to do. I don't think this is gonna be nominated for any Academy Awards. I don't think this is gonna be next year's La La Land. But if you wanna go to a movie, see a movie, laugh and get action, Giant Harambe is for you. My bad. King Kong Skull Island is for you. I totally forgot John C. Riley in this. See, I forgot about him because he's he's kind of hit or miss for me at the beginning. But then as the movie progresses, you grow to like this guy. I mean, he's obviously very likable, but he's part of the reason why the jokes don't really hit. And and then like he kind of finds his footing, and then you you love him. You love him. You love him. All in all, if you have nothing better to do, no, no scratch that. If you have plans this weekend, cancel them go watch King Kong Skull Island. If you have, unless you have a child being born, go watch this movie. I guarantee you will enjoy it, and if you don't, you got the Robert Smith money back guarantee. I'm just, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna give you your money back. 
But anyways guys, if that wasn't clear before, go watch this movie, I loved it. Such a good start to the summer. Alright guys, thanks for watching this spoiler free review. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button so you get notifications of when I upload next. Comment down below on movies, TV shows, Netflix shows that you want me to watch next and review. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And remember, there is no spoon. <laughs> Samuel Jackson's so crazy this movie. He's so crazy. How is this so crazy?